Hey, pretty sweet gang. How are you guys doing? It is the holiday season. It's time for Christmas. Today, we are going to make some hot cocoa stirs. Yes, hot cocoa stirs, not hot cocoa bombs. Those have been pretty popular the last couple of years. But I just wanted to do something a little different this year, and I'm going to offer these on my website and also locally. So you want to start off with some jumbo marshmallows. You want to have some mini peppermint candy canes. I also have some crushed candy canes over here on the side and some mini marshmallows. And I have some red, green, and white festive paper straws. Um, also have some white chocolate and some milk chocolate off to the side. Sorry, those are not in frame. So all I'm going to do now is take my mini candy canes and I am going to dip the um, ends of that in my white chocolate. And I'm going to press it right into the side of my jumbo marshmallow. Um, these are not for anyone. They are just for the video. So yes, I would recommend wearing gloves. And actually, you don't really have to dip your candy canes in the chocolate because the marshmallows are really sticky on the inside. But I just want them to be extra secure and I want to make sure I don't have any problems once I'm dipping them. So I'm going to just dip them in white chocolate and then any extra um, chocolate that comes off on the marshmallow because when I dip it, I want it to be smooth on that side and not look weird i'm just gonna wipe off any extra with my finger again if this was an order i would be using gloves but because this is just for this video i'm gonna just go with the flow and do what i gotta do so i'm gonna make six of these for you guys today and i'm just repeating the steps of adding my candy canes inside the side of my marshmallow and as you can already see these already look like hot cocoa mugs and that is the purpose for the candy cane um it is the handle of our mug i'm not going to talk to you guys through the entire video i'm not going to speed up the video either all the steps should be pretty self-explanatory but i will come in and explain what i'm doing for each new step so i hope you guys enjoy this video please if you're not a subscriber go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell also share this video with your family and your friends this will be a really fun treat to make and sell at any um, holiday pop-up shops or just to add to your menu for your holiday dessert tables or just to do with the kids like they would really really love this treat so you guys sit back and relax and enjoy the video and i will come back in with the next step all right guys now we have all of our candy canes which are our coffee mug handles in the side of our marshmallows you want to go ahead and grab your paper straws and you want to dip the ends of those you don't have to dip it very far just the tip of the straw into your white chocolate and you want to go ahead and find the center of your jumbo marshmallow and just kind of screw those down you see the little twist motion i'm doing instead of pressing because i don't want to ruin the shape of my marshmallow you just want to twist and add a little pressure pushing down to get that into the center of your marshmallow now because of the candy cane you will be able to feel the candy cane in there you may just graze across it but it's okay like as you can see here it didn't affect anything just um make sure that you um, are paying attention when you add your stick in that it's not moving your um, mini candy cane around making it like look weird and not be straight or whatever as long as you don't push your candy cane in too far you should be okay and i was just showing that there and then I put my um, pan in the fridge so that all of my chocolate can set so that I can go ahead and dip our marshmallow down into the white chocolate. And you just want to gently push that down and kind of move it around and shake and tap off any excess chocolate that is on your little coffee mug. Just like dipping cake pops, chocolate apples, or anything. And you just want to make sure so you don't have the extra puddle of chocolate under the bottom of your mug. That you kind of scrape that off the side of your whatever container you're using to dip with. 
and sorry I don't really have that in frame as well as I thought I did but I believe you guys get the picture if you are familiar with dipping your treats and so I'm just going to repeat the steps with all six of our little mug marshmallows and then once after I get them dipped in the white chocolate I'm going to go ahead and place my cookie sheet back in the fridge for about 10 minutes so that our chocolate can set and I'll be back with our next step. Okay guys, after about 10 minutes in the fridge, our chocolate has set and look at how cute those already are. I am in love. Okay, so now is the fun part. It's time to decorate and you want to have some milk chocolate, dark chocolate, whatever you prefer um, to resemble the hot cocoa in your mug and you want to have that in a squeeze bottle and you want to go around the straw and around the top but you don't want to completely cover the top of the mug because, you know, you want to want it to resemble a mug that is full of hot chocolate. So just enough that it looks like, you know, a mug with hot chocolate. And I have that piece of chocolate, that dr one drip on purpose because I want it to look like it's overflowing the way hot chocolate does. Once you add all the marshmallows and everything, and so I'm going to add, you add as many marshmallows as you want. I'm using the mini marshmallows. I'm not using the dehydrated marshmallows, so they are bigger than the dehydrated marshmallows. But if that's what you prefer, you can definitely add more. I'm just adding about five to the top of mine. And then what I'm going to do is after I'm done with that, I'm going to put my cookie sheet back in the fridge, allow that chocolate to set, and then just for a dramatic effect, I'm going to stack more marsh marshmallows on top of the first row of marshmallows. So I'll be back once we get to that step.
aren't these just the cutest they are perfectly fine just the way they are but like i said before i just want to be dramatic so i want to add more marshmallows because i'm extra and i just love a lot of marshmallows in my hot cocoa also even though i am introducing these as hot cocoa stirs they are definitely delicious treats alone as is this would be an awesome way to incorporate dipped marshmallows like i said into your um, treat or dessert tables for parties and events if you know someone that has a christmas birthday and they are a marshmallow lover this would definitely be a really cute treat or even if you're like me and like to have a hot cocoa bar for the holidays this would be so cute to have on your hot cocoa bar for any guests that come over during the holidays so all i'm doing is just adding a little dab of chocolate onto each marshmallow and i'm just piling them right on top of the next marshmallow so my first row had five marshmallows and then i'm adding four to the top of that five and i'm just kind of spreading them out in between each marshmallow so that they have support and something to set on and yeah so we're gonna finish that with these and i'll be back for the next step So now this is the step where the crushed um, peppermint are going to come in. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my squeeze bottle and just kind of drizzle and swirl, trying to make sure that I don't make a mess with the chocolate and get it all over the mug and all over the stick. So it was just easier for me to kind of make those circular motions. And then I'm just going to take the crushed um, peppermint and just kind of sprinkle it like sprinkles on top right on top of the drizzled chocolate. And we're gonna do that for all six and I will be back for the next step.
and that is literally it you guys look at how cute those are they are so adorable i'm so excited about these and now these are before anyone asks i these are the self-adhesive um cellophane bags that i got off of amazon but what i did is i cut off the strip at the top the self-adhesive strip because obviously these aren't like cookies or anything and they have the paper straw sticking up out of them and I'm gonna add a bow so I just went ahead and cut that off and made both sides of the bag even and I'm just gonna go ahead and slip these into a bag and these are I believe the four by six cellophane bags in case you guys are interested and i really love these and i do buy these even though i don't always need the self-adhesive strip because these are like crystal clear bags um one thing i hate about some clear treat bags they have kind of like a foggy look but these are really clear so you're able to see every single detail through each bag and i'm just going to go ahead and bag these and some of them are a little tight so you could probably even stand to use the five by two but these four by six were perfect it's just that some of the marshmallows are a little bit larger in size because nothing is perfect so it took a little more effort to get it down in the bag like this one as you can see but they definitely work and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys enjoy the rest of the video that is it if there's anything else that you guys want to add like maybe some christmas sprinkles or anything just to up it a notch go ahead and do that you can never really do too much with this cute little treat right here so i hope you guys enjoyed the video give us a like and a share and we really appreciate it and until the next one Thank you.